Game of the Week, presented by Turkish Airlines, Nike. One to go, one victory to reach the final four, or one loss to go home. That was a challenge for Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv and Kaka Laboral Vitoria coming into a game four in this fascinating Turkish Airlines EuroLeague basketball quarterfinals. The Israeli team led 2-1 after the brilliant success of last Tuesday, but the team was very concerned about the injury of point guard Doran Perkins, who will miss the rest of the season and already underwent surgery to repair two torn ligaments on his right knee. That was an extra motivation for his teammates. When he went down, you know, it, it just inspired us to even to push even harder, you know, for him because we know how bad he wants it. You know, he's one of the big, big parts of this team, the reason why we are, you know, where we are in the, in the EuroLeague this season. And uh, we didn't want it all to, to be for nothing. So everybody, you know, stepped up, guys, understood the situation, and, uh, you know, we, we pushed forward. Not easy to replace uh, a player of his uh, stature and abilities and personality. But I think that uh, when a soldier goes down, the best way to honor him is to uh, try to accomplish everything that he sacrificed for and he worked for. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Caja Laboral had to fight back in the series to stay alive in the competition. The Spanish squad had a 2-3 record against Maccabi in this season, entering the game, including two big defeats in the Nokia Arena, combining for a 37-point margin. Anyway, both teams knew each other very well, and if Dusko Ivanovic wanted a different result for this third game of the season in Israel, he didn't expect anything new from a tactical standpoint. I don't think anything will change at the moment in this game. I think we need to stick to our way of playing if we are going to stand a chance of winning, to know whether one of our players can make the difference and decide the outcome. Anyway, Kaka Laboral's Brad Hollison expected at least one thing to change, the three-point shooting accuracy. With 39% overall in EuroLeague this season, Vitoria went just 5 for 22 in Game 3. If I had the answer, you know, I think we'd hit every three, but uh, I don't know, just rest, you know, focus and, uh, and just, you know, just shoot it like we've been doing all season, you know, there's no spe special thing we've been doing all season and there's no reason we can't, you know, can't figure it out in Game 4. A very special moment before the jumble with a message by Doron Perkins from his hospital room to support his team. The crowd got even more excited. It was a very close game in the first half. Mirza Teletovic scored 12 of the first 29 points for the Spaniards and his duel against Jeremy Pargo was so exciting and spectacular. Pargo working on Logan, spins in the lane, gets a shot off, puts it down, Jeremy Pargo answering back. Here we got a steal. Kaha Labadal likes to do this, get out on the floor and run. After Look at Teletovic put the reverse down. Maccabi Electra's point guard was the first player of his team to reach the double digit in scoring, but Vittorio was not impressed and built a five-point lead in the second quarter. Looking for Batista, gets a screen from Batista, gives him the ball. Cross court to Huertas, he's going to try to go a floater inside, he gets it off the backboard and that's 31 to 36. The Israeli players reacted with Leo Reliao and an impressive performance by Gaip Nini, who scored 13 of his 22 points in the first half. But the guest led 52-51 with this unbelievable shot by Mirza Teletovic at the very last second before the half time. The story was completely different after the break. Look at Aliyahu with the block, but it stays with Kalabral. Teletovic gets a shot off in time but misses. Ensign comes up with a rebound. Maccabi looking to take over. Look at Pargo finishing with the foul. Maccabi built a 17 points lead, scoring 14 of the first 19 three pointers attempt, and the yellow crowd started a long, long celebration. Another scorer, Eliyahu, passes out to Hendricks. There's Blue launching from deep. Look at David Blue. The players of David Blatt were unstoppable. No answer from Vitoria. Maccabi Electra dominated till the end, finishing with a 22 points lead, 99-77, and won the series 3-1, getting qualified for the main event of the season, the Final Four in Barcelona. 
Jeremy Pargo scored 26 points with 9 of 13 on field goals and added 7 assists. And he was, of course, the player of the game 